first thing first, we want to, there we go, check to see if we have a triangle. And the way we do that is we want to look at the two smallest sides. In order for our two smallest sides to actually meet, their value added together has to be greater than this longer side. So in all of these problems, we're going to go and circle the biggest side. And if you are not sure of the value of 5 radical 13, just plug it into your calculator. We find it's approximately 8.027, making 5 radical 13 the biggest side. We then get 36 and 12.2. Okay, checking the first one. 10 plus 11 is 21. 21 is greater than 14, so we're good. This will form a triangle. For the next one, we get 10 and 15, which is 25. 25 is, in fact, greater than 18.027, so we're good. Next one, 15 plus 20 is 25, which is not greater than 36. Not a triangle. Because if we have a length of 36, and another side that's 15, and one that's 20, the two sides can never meet, even if we were to lay them flat against this 36. There we go. where this is 20 and this is 15, we're going to have a one unit gap here. It's going to cause us problems. And then lastly, we look at 8.2 plus 4.1, which is 12.3. That is, in fact, greater than 12.2. So again, we're good. All right, now we know which ones will give us triangles. We want to figure out if our triangle is acute, right, or obtuse. Again, we do want to make sure we know which, ang which number is our biggest number because that will be our C value. We're going to look at A squared, B squared, and C squared. We take 10 squared plus 11 squared and then 14 squared. We find 100 plus 121 and then 14 squared is going to be 196 get 221 and 196. Since 221 is greater than 196, making c squared the lesser value, we have an acute triangle. And one way that might be easier for you on this is actually to rearrange them to always put that c squared value first. If we do that, we see that we get the 196 and then 100 plus 121. We get a less than sign, and that might help you with remembering it's an acute. So maybe put that C value first. Okay, for the next one, our largest value, so our C value is 5 radical 13. We get 5 radical 13 squared. And over here we have 10 squared plus 15 squared. 5 radical 13 squared is going to be fifth or 25, excuse me, times 13. 325. And then we get 100 plus 225. So 325 and 325, these are equal, giving us a right triangle. Lastly, Again, we're going to look at c squared and then a squared plus b squared. Our c value is the 12.2. get 8.2 squared plus 4.1 squared. 12.2 squared is 148.84. 8.2 squared gives us 67.24. 4.1 squared gives us 16.81